Introducing Functions, Lesson 12 Notes. The review. Evaluate the following expressions. For each problem, they give you the value of the variable. So you're going to take that value, and wherever the variable is, you'll put parentheses, and you're going to substitute or plug that value in. And then simplify. So if you look at example 1, it's negative 2x minus 5. So where the x is, I put parentheses, and then I'm going to replace the x with the value that is stated, which is 22. So in the parentheses, I'm going to put 22. And then we're going to follow our order of operations, one step at a time. So we're going to multiply first. Negative 2 times 22 is negative 44. Bring down the minus 5. And then the last step would be to simplify negative 44 minus 5. The signs are the same, so I'm going to add and keep the sign. So that would be negative 49. And that is how you do the review. So right now, pause your video and finish the review. All right, let's now check your answers. For number two, you should have substituted the negative 15 in for the A. 3 times negative 15 is negative 45. Negative 45 plus 8. Signs are different. Subtract, keep the sign of the larger number, which would be negative 37. Number 3. Substitute the negative 9 in for y. Negative 6 times negative 9 is positive 54. 54 minus 7 is 47. If you need to, pause your video. Make sure you get that all written down. If you made any mistakes, please fix it. Number four. Number four and five are a little bit different. Notice that negative sign in front of the x. That's like having a negative one in front of the x. Therefore, you should have put a negative one in front of the parentheses. So I'm going to take the opposite of the variable. So the opposite of positive 12 is negative 12. Negative 12 minus five is negative 15. Four and five are the most missed problems. Number five, again, you would put a negative one in front of the A. And then I would substitute in negative 10. The opposite of negative 10 is positive 10. Positive 10 plus eight is 18. Number six, you're gonna substitute negative 22 in for the Y. So you're gonna plug negative 22 in for Y. Half of negative 22 is, is negative 11. Negative 11 minus 7 is negative 18. All right. So that is it for the review. Make sure you have it all written down. If you made any mistakes, please f fix them. All right. Now I'd like you to pause your video and get your definitions down. You have relation, inputs, outputs, and function to write down the definitions. So please pause your video and write those definitions down now. Okay. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. Again, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. Well, you should know what ordered pairs are because you have to use ordered pairs. Um, when we were plotting points, when we were graphing, we used ordered pairs and, and so forth. Right? But one word that you might not know in that definition is the word set. So let's take a look at some examples of sets. Okay, so this first one, the top one here in purple. What is that a set of? You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Okay, that is a set of either, you could say, even numbers up to 20, or it's a set of multiples of two up to 20. What are these symbols on the ends called? Well, we know that symbols that look like this are called parentheses. Symbols that look like this are called brackets. So what are the symbols at the ends of the sets here? Those are called braces. So again, the symbol at the end 
of each set is called a brace. Let's look at the next example of a set. We've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That is a set of your multiples of 3 up to 18. Again, that is their set of multiples of 3 up to 18. The next one, the one in pink. I would be really impressed if you remember what this is. This is something we did earlier in the year. We made a chart of these numbers. Uh, it went way past 100. Like, for instance, the next number would be 121, then 144, 169, 196, 225, and so forth. All right. If you recognize what these numbers are, I would be extremely impressed. But this is a set of perfect squares. In other words, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, and so forth. So the numbers written in pink, those are all perfect squares. So it is a set of perfect squares up to 100. Now, sometimes sets are not numbers. If you look at this, this figure right here, that's called a parallelogram. Technically, this figure, this figure, this figure, and this figure are also parallelograms. What is this figure and this figure? The, they have the same name. Those are both trapezoids. This figure and this figure they are rectangles. A lot of people want to think that this is a square, but it's not. It's a rectangle. This, however, is a square, or it could be considered a rhombus. And this right here is a rhombus. A rhombus is very similar to a square where all four sides are congruent, but in a rhombus, the angles do not need to be 90 degrees. So what do all of these figures have in common? They're not all parallelograms because trapezoids are not parallelograms. They're not all rectangles. They're not all squares. So what type of figures do we have here? They are all quadrilaterals. They are four-sided figures, and four-sided figures are referred to as quadrilaterals. So this is a set of quadrilaterals. So now back to the notes. Now that we know what a set of is, up underneath the line that is right up here, write down this example. So a set of ordered pairs could look like, oops, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> set of ordered pairs, an example would be 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 4. And that's just an example what a relation would be, a set of ordered pairs. Pause your video and get that written down. All right. In the next video, I'll talk about inputs, outputs, and functions. So I'm going to end this video here. If you have any questions about what a relation is, about what sets are, please let me know.